could see yourself just sitting there on my chair I'm staring at you you don't even notice hi everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new here thank you so much for clicking on today's video today I am bringing you part one of my spring clean and decorate with me I'm just doing a couple of spaces downstairs and at the end of this video I'm gonna share a super cute Easter springtime dessert that you can make either for like a potluck or with your kids so if you enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing I would love to have you and let's go ahead and jump right into all the decorating a lot of the things that you're going to see me use in this video are things that I have owned for several years, but there are also a lot of new things. So I will be sure to link my spring home decor haul down in the description box. So you guys can go and check it out if you want to see some of the new stuff that I picked up. I mostly got things this year from Hobby Lobby and Target. So if you want to see a lot of the things that I got, everything that I purchased is linked in that video too, if you're looking to purchase anything for yourself. But the first thing I wanted to do is just kind of tidy up the living room and take down some things in here that I'm not gonna be using for decorating spring decor. And of course, Josie is gonna be all throughout this video, so I know a lot of you guys like to see her too. this little bunny throw pillow I got it at the Target dollar spot and Jack would probably tell you I have way too many throw pillows but this one was the perfect size super cute and I could not pass it up really love this garland that I have up here. I've used it for several seasons and just kind of added things to it. It is from the Magnolia collection, the Hearth and Hand collection at Target, and I just absolutely love it. I can just kind of add in some things that make it feel festive for spring or summer. I think I also used it a little bit in winter time and just kind of covered up a few of the little flowers that you could see, and it just really works for so many different seasons. And of course, you're gonna see me probably change up this decor a little bit I have already changed it even since I filmed this video and so you guys are going to see an update. I'm going to try to film a home tour and just kind of walk you guys through my house. I love filming those kinds of videos for you guys and letting you know where everything is from. So if you are looking forward to that video or you really want to see it, then give this video a thumbs up so I know that you're looking forward to that one. We fly around like paper planes, they never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us, still they wanna tear us apart. There's something different about the way we are. Like I said, I filmed this video a little while ago and I've already kind of changed out some of the decor since I filmed. And another thing that I have done to this space since I filmed this video is get rid of this TV console table. And I got a new one from Target and I cannot wait to share with you guys how this area of my living room has completely transformed. We mounted the TV and everything. So that'll be probably in my next um, spring decorate video, the part two. So now we're moving on to the kitchen and I had mentioned in my shop with me and haul video that I was really looking forward to decorating on top of the cabinets and I got this idea just like scrolling through Pinterest I wanted to pick up a couple of things and add to some things that I already had 
to kind of just make this space feel a little more homey. I think it makes the ceilings feel a little bit taller to have some things up here. It kind of draws your eye upward. So a lot of this stuff I already had and then there are a few new things and most of it is from that haul. So like I said, I'll leave that video in the description box if you want to check it out and see where a lot of this stuff is from. There's something different by the way we are. Easter wreath is also a Target dollar spot find. I never skip on the Target dollar spot. It was really hard to get a lot of these shots for you guys too just because it is really hard to get a tripod and a camera all the way up to my ceiling but I made it happen so you could kind of see what I was doing and like I said when I filmed that home tour I'll kind of walk you guys through where all this stuff is from and kind of how I got my vision to style it but this is the first time I've ever done any kind of decorating like this and I'm just really pleased with how it turned out. So now Jack is helping me hang up another sign that I got recently from Hobby Lobby. You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me. I won't be stumbling in the dark. Your eyes are shining like the stars. I was down until you saved me, until you set me free. My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day, and I just wanted to say that you can take me high, feels like I can fly. You can take me high. I can see the sun staring at you. The last thing that I'm gonna do for decorating today is get the table ready for my tablescape. I don't usually go too crazy with tablescapes just because I only have one table to sit and eat at. I don't have a formal dining room. So I also like this table to be very functional because I sit here a lot and do other things besides just eat. But I always put out some kind of tablecloth or table runner for each season. And then I have these woven chargers. I use them like places mats but they're woven chargers that I got from I think Target I want to say they are also the hearth and hand line and I just love them I can use any plates on top of them they really work for any season but now I cannot wait to share with you guys this super delicious sugar cookie recipe we are making little birds nests and I found this idea on Pinterest and I absolutely love it and it's super easy because you are just using a sugar cookie mix so it's not really homemade but everybody will think that these are homemade when they taste them and when they look at them because they just look super special but you're just going to want to start by following the directions on the sugar cookie mix so i preheated the oven to 350 i'm using one stick of butter and one egg just like the recipe says and mixing all that together feels like i can fly can take me high. Don't be afraid to mix this with your hands and as long as they're clean you'll be totally fine. The next thing you're going to want to do is scoop your sugar cookie mixture into the little mini muffin tins and you could probably do this with full size ones you just have to adjust the baking time but I use my tablespoon cookie scoop here I did not fill it up all the way I would say probably three quarters of the scoop I filled and then just plopped it into each one of the little things um, and then you're gonna want to take your hands and just kind of mush the cookie dough into the cupcake tin so I know that sounds kind of weird but you're just gonna like mush it down a little bit until it fills out the entire cup and then what I did was take my thumb and I just went around and pushed my thumb down into it to create like a little divot or a hole you could use a spoon to do this I just found it so much easier to use my thumb and then that's pretty much it you're gonna put them into the oven for eight to ten minutes is what it says on the back of the sugar cookie mix so just based on your oven just kind of keep an eye on them and when they look like they're just starting to brown on the top that's how you know they're perfect and you can take them out mm -hmm. 
another thing that makes this recipe super easy is you can just use canned frosting. So I had a half of one of these cans of frosting and I'm just gonna add a little bit of green food gel. I use the food gel instead of the food drops, but whatever you have will work fine and you're just gonna mix it until all the color is blended in. I like more of that pastel color for spring. You could add more food coloring if you wanted to go much more vibrant, but this is going to be the grass for your bird's nest and I did not have any more piping bags. I had used up my last one, so I just kind of improvised and used a plastic baggie. Whatever you have will work. I've also seen people use like heavy duty saran wrap. Whatever you have is perfectly fine. But now I'm just going to um, make the holes slightly bigger now that they've come out of the oven and they will look a little bit undone in the center. Just trust me, they will set up perfectly fine. They are cooked all the way through. It's just kind of how they look when you pull them out. You do want them to cool for a little bit before you pull them out of the tin and then go ahead and start frosting them. Now I've seen this done so many different ways, but you're going to put some M&M Easter eggs on the top of the grass so it really doesn't have to look perfect. I kind of gave up doing the little grass looking patterns and just decided to just kind of fill the hole in as best I could. You're just gonna cover it up anyway, like I said, with the Easter eggs. If you wanted to use, I saw shredded coconut. If you use food coloring and shredded coconut, that gives you a little bit more of a grass texture, you could do that too, or just do it like me and whatever works, make it work for you. So then these are the M&M Easter eggs. So you could use regular M&Ms if you have them in pastel colors, but I specifically got the ones that are shaped like eggs because I think it makes it look a little bit more like a bird's nest. So I'm just putting three of them right into the icing. And this is why I don't really think it matters exactly how the icing turns out because you're just kind of putting the eggs in there. You're using the frosting like a glue basically to get those M&Ms to stick inside of the bird's nest. But I think these look so much fun. I think these would be super easy to do with kids and they also taste really, really good. I took these to work for like a luncheon the other day and everybody said they were really good. So this is how they turned out and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some decorating inspiration as well as a good recipe to try out. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel with your bell notifications turned on. That way you don't miss any more of my spring decorating videos and I'll see you guys again real soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.